all so today we are going to look at ram storage and some other important samsung tablet necessaries that is important to know we need to know these so that we can ensure to keep optimal performance when operating our samsung android devices it would be similar in other tablets but samsung has their specifics that all the devices have so i will look into samsung specifically today so we go into settings usually pull down and you go to settings then we go into battery device and device care right battery and device care and here we are met with a nice interface on top you would see so this face here this emoji will change depending on how your device is doing in my case it is good it could go up to excellent and here you will see optimize now this is when your device is not optimized to its maximum you get to press that button and it will automatically bring up your device to optimal standard as best it, as it could come up and here we will see the four check marks it could also go more if your device is really bad in the performance area so the first one no high battery usage detected so that was good no app crashes two background apps they were closed and we have a virus scanning was turned off right in my case that is not a problem but in certain other person's cases ensure that your virus scanning is on if you know you are prone to viruses so after that you will see right so it has disappeared optimize that button has disappeared because we are now optimized as much as we can be optimized right so here it is telling us how much days is left it's approximating based on how we are using it when we click on that it will take us into our history what we have been doing showing us exactly what is going on in our system we can activate power saving mode from here we can look at the background usage right we can check or uncheck putting the unused apps to sleep in, in my case i am putting it to sleep of course because i want optimal performance and that is by default as well so if you did not change that this option then it will automatically be set to put on using apps to sleep this is showing me how much it's on the bottom here it's showing me how much apps will put to sleep how much will put in the deep sleep none and the apps that will never sleep there is none of that so all my apps can be put to sleep right so if it have on the never sleeping apps if it have 10 in there that means it have 10 apps that will never be put to sleep and you can actually set that for yourself if you like these are apps so on the bottom here now apps slated for deep sleep they are giving you a brief explanation of what it is these are apps that haven't been used in a while which makes sense right save battery they'll be put to sleep a deep sleep which will prevent them from sending notifications or receiving updates and may cause them not to work correctly so they are ensuring to tell you the what the what, what will happen if you do this if you put apps to sleep to a deep sleep 
So YouTube, 5.8% was used. Chrome, 1.5% was used. WhatsApp, 0.6% was used. And you can see on the graph here exactly what is going on. The 5.8 on top and it's coming down. Alright, until it reaches 0. We have more battery settings. Adaptive battery, so it extends the life based on how much the tablet is being used from its calculations of how you are using it. Then show battery percentage, so I could uncheck that and you see the battery percentage on top disappears. If I click it, it appears. Fast charging, so when this is on then you will have when this is on yeah it is on by default so when it is as such then your tablet will charge fast if it is turned off of course your tablet will not charge as fast protect the battery right this is it will go up to 85 percent only and stop when it reaches 85 percent so the 85% is, 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 will be its max it can charge. That is to protect battery life based on research. All right. Storage. So in here you can see what is picking up the most of the space. All right. Images is picking up 52 point a3 and trash is picking up the list at zero. Of course, you could see apps picking up 12.98 gigabytes and the system 12.30 gigabytes. And I have a 32 gigabyte in total. So this is also how to how to know your internal storage. How much is your max? You can come in here to find out your max internal storage. Mine is 32 and 26.47 has been used up already. Then you swipe from right to left. Right, from right to left. And you will see your SD card. My SD card is at 32 gigabytes. So 64 in total for me. Mine's only 1.09 gigabytes was used so far, and of course, this is max here. Yeah. You would see all of your different the trash, what is in the trash, what is unused, what is duplicated. Most likely, you could take off one of the duplicated apps and the files that are very large so you can go into each of these by clicking on the arrow to see what you need to do what you need to take off to delete for example to delete this i can just press that press on the side and click delete move the trash all right and go back and as you see him for the unused apps click on how much ever you want to delete and you delete or uninstall memory now so memory is what memory is is that that is when you can use multiple software or applications at the same time So for example, I can probably use WhatsApp at the same time. I can probably as as when I'm using Google, for example. So both of them will be open simultaneously. Like how I can open this split screen here. So settings and the zoom. For example, so both of them open simultaneously. This is using lots of my RAM, 
right? And in my case, I have 509 megabytes. It just went up to 542. If you would have just saw that, right? For a split second, because it, the, the app on the bottom was loading. Now it's leveling out. And as I move, it will go up. It takes you to move things. Right. It will end right. So two fifty five. Four twenty eight, right? You see that? Moving. Moving. So I got a click clean now to clean my RAM and it will free up the unneeded space any unneeded space that is right click clear now and it will automatically clear your RAM which will give you more RAM to be able to do more things simultaneously also when you click on memory you will see RAM Plus, which uses some of your storage as or your internal storage. Like how I have 32 gigs, it will use some of that to act as my RAM. So you can do either 2 gigabytes extra or 4 gigabytes extra. In my case, I use 4 gigabytes extra, of course. The most you can use extra. So it will be. the 3 gigabytes plus the 4 so 3 and 4 is 7 so you can see I have in theory in theory I have 7 gigabytes of RAM of course the internal using the internal will be slower than using straight RAM right but it's still better than nothing so there is also the device protection you see I have never scanned my device since I am not doing anything on this device to require my device to be protected but if you are if you have lots of important things on your device and you will not want anybody to know about it you should can you should ensure to have your device protected either using this application or a third party application outside of the Samsung realm and of course you can activate the restart when needed feature if you know you'd, you would not want your device to just restart on you you can use this and the disclaimer here is, is ensuring that as when you are not using it this detail will really start so keep that in mind when going through and activating the auto optimization right here is where you can go into the software updates as well software update so if you want to get a software update or if you want to check to see if you have an outstanding software update because of some problem you are having or just curious just click on download and install click on it and it will search right my device is up to date which is one ui version 5.1 June 1st 2022 this is the security patch good you can activate or deactivate this currently it is activated by default so you can auto download over Wi-Fi it's on from my device 
diagnostics. So you are having a problem with your tablet. You can use this very in-depth diagnostic tool. It is, it is pretty good. And you can detect multiple problems on your device. So tablet diagnostic. It checks if your tablet's functions are working properly. Then we have the app battery usage diagnostic. It checks the apps that quickly use up the battery. So this is going to be a quick way to find out which device is using, which applications is using your battery. And thirdly, we have the app safety diagnostic. It checks for apps that can reduce your tablet's performance and security. And when you go into the tablet diagnostic, you have multiple test features here so we have 17 total what it does it perform tests to make sure your tablet is working properly you can test all or you can test them separately by clicking on each so for example so let's go through all we have the SD card we have the power restart status we have the official software to see if it's if the software you are using is original or if it's a patch. You have sensors, you have the touch screen. To make sure that your touch screen is working properly. You have the buttons to make sure that your side buttons and other buttons are working properly. You have the speaker, then ensure that your speaker is at its full potential. The camera to ensure that it's not whether it's a hardware or software problem if you're having a camera issue. The mics if you're having a problem with your mic, location accuracy, the Wi Fi, the Bluetooth, the facial recognition to ensure that it works properly. The wired headsets see if it's a, your headset you have any problem or if it's the tablet. USB connection, cable charging, and the battery status. If to see whether your battery is working at its optimum or if it needs to change. Alright. It gives me a whole list here when I press back. Uh, you can go into get support. You can get support. Mm -hmm. Whether through sending the feedback or quick help via the remote support or the text chat, for example. And they all take you right directly to where you need to be. Right. Maintenance mode. The maintenance mode when you come into the battery and device care is for when you are going to repair your device. You activate it so that it will lock your your device. You can back up your data and you can lock your device. It will things in it will be encrypted. And the only way you can decrypt is by typing in the password that you would have set before carrying it to be repaired by a professional. If your problem is unfixable by Google or YouTube. That would be all for the battery and device care. Thank you for watching and I hope this really helped you learn a lot more about your tablet.